Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my Boxing Day haul, and I just wanted to show you the things that I picked up on Boxing Day. It's kind of like Black Friday in the States, but worse sales, I guess. I did get some good deals, but Black Friday is by far way better. But yeah, so I thought I'd show you this kind of stuff in a haul video, and excuse the lighting because the sun's going down and it's just not working, and this is my hair. I didn't do it today. It's all natural, and it looks really, really bad. And yeah. We're gonna just go on to the video now. I'm gonna start off with the things that I purchased at Target. The first one was this black nail polish by the brand Sinful Colors, and it's in the shade Black on Black 103, and I'm wearing it under my nails right now with um, some Revlon nail stickers, and I'm really, I don't know how I feel about them, because they're kind of like already coming off, and I just applied them last night, but I'll, I'll do a close up so you can see. So that's what the nails look like with the nail stickers. They're really, really pretty, but I thought that they would look best on black nail polish, and so that's why I had to buy black nail polish. The next thing that I picked up was a pair of gloves, because when I go back to school, I'm going to be having to walk to school and everything, so I wanted to get a new pair of gloves, and I really probably wouldn't have picked this color. I just didn't, I was too lazy to go, like, way back up the escalator and stuff. But these are texting gloves, so they have little things in the pointer finger and the thumb, so you can use, like, your touch screen iPhone stuff while your hands are nice and warm and these were three dollars so I bought those. Target also had a really good sale from like Boxing Day still going on on some DVDs so I picked up three of them and as you guys know I'm going to be getting my wisdom teeth out if I have not yet done that. I feel like this video is going to go up on the day that I get them out or like soon after but I picked up three DVDs to watch during that time. The first one was Safe Haven. Love this movie so much so I bought that. My mom hasn't seen it so I'm going to watch it with her. And my dad hasn't seen this one and it's Grown Ups 2. And this is such a good movie, it's so funny, and I've seen Grown Ups 1, and it's really good too. And then the last one, I have actually never seen. I think I tried to watch it one time, but I didn't, wasn't really interested, so I bought it, and uh, hopefully I'll like it this time, but it is Clueless, because everyone talks about it, I feel like it's the old version of Mean Girls, that kind of thing. But yeah, so I picked up these three DVDs, and I think this one was $15, this one was 10 and this one was 5 I think. I'm not really sure, but they were all really inexpensive. Another thing that I picked up from Target was a new planner, and I've been seeing these um, a lot on YouTube and kind of on Instagram lately, and so I wanted to go pick myself up one, and I couldn't decide between the bigger one and the small one, but I went with the smaller one, and this is what it looks like. It's just kind of like, you know, your typical planner. It has a white background, and the 2014 is in like gold and like uh, a mint green, and I really like it, and I also like that it has tabs on the side, because I find that so much easier when you're like putting stuff in your planner and it has like the full calendar and then it also has individual weeks and then a big note section on the side so I think this is going to be a really good planner for school and for YouTube and everything so I picked that up and this was I think around eight dollars and the last thing that I picked up from Target was a new purse because I wanted to get a small black purse and this one was on the mannequin so I purchased it it was twenty dollars but it basically just looks like this and it has a little clasp and yeah it's pretty spacious I haven't taken the paper out but it doesn't have a zip or anything, it just has like the fold over and then it has a nice long gold strap and I like it because it like hangs nicely crossbody on me and it kind of has like a quilted texture on it and yeah, so I think this will be good for when I go to LA because I wanted something a little bit smaller to carry around and yeah, I think it's just going to be a really good overall purse and $20 for a purse ain't bad, so Target is definitely a good place for that kind of stuff. Moving on to other things that I purchased from Boxing Day, I went to Airy because they were 40% off and I only got two things, um, and they didn't have any other bags, so they gave me this ginormous bag. The first thing I got was actually a shirt, and this was $30, but like 40% off, or 50% off, I can't remember, but it's just this grey shirt, and it has like sequins on the sleeve and I got it in the size large just because I really like the look of like baggy or t-shirts like this I like being comfy and larges are usually the most comfy for me and so yeah I just really like the sequins on the sleeve they're kind of like a bronze color and so I got that and then I just picked up a plain black bra because they were on sale you can't really go like sale shopping without stopping at Bath and Body Works so I picked up a few things from here not too much though the first two things I got are the same because I'm leaving one of them here because my mom wanted one for this home and then I'm taking one back with me to school and they are soaps and these are the foaming ones and I got it in the like scent ocean sunset and they smell so good I was smelling all their like tropical new spring type scents and I like this one the best so I got that and I really like the foaming 
soap thing so I got those the next thing I got is actually something really cool that I have never seen in Bath and Body Works before and I was really intrigued by their like mousse lotions that come out kind of like whipped cream but when I saw this I thought this would be a little bit more practical because I'm not really a big lotion person from Bath and Body Works but uh, this is a antibacterial foaming mousse hand sanitizer and I got it in the flavor winter candy apple just because that's my favorite and so I'll show you what it does it's really neat you guys have probably seen this but yeah it just comes out like a foam so like that and then it's just like a really fluffy hand sanitizer and I think it's really cool and it smells amazing it smells like hair product I feel like I could put this in my hair because it's a mousse but I wouldn't do that because that's weird but I thought this was really neat and something that you can toss in your purse and stuff it's probably a little bit big to toss in your purse but it's nice to have by like your makeup stand and stuff just before you apply your makeup so I got that and then most of their candles were 50% off however the one that I really wanted which was Palm Beach it's like a new scent wasn't on sale I was kind of mad but I got this one instead and this is um, white water birch and I've never seen this candle before but I saw it and I smelled it and I really like it because it's a really nice clean fresh scent and those are the type of scents I like to burn in my house it kind of smells like laundry like one of those like nice laundry scents I'm not really sure but I really like it I was gonna get a coconut one instead but I thought this one would be a little bit better and it's just like the white candle so I got that for ten dollars which is way better than paying twenty dollars I never pay full price for their candles because that's just ridiculous and the last place I went to was Hudson's Bay and that's actually so weird to say I just call it the Bay but I got two dresses because I was looking for dresses to wear to IMATS because I feel like everyone's gonna be dressed so so nice and I literally have I have no idea what to wear but I picked up two dresses because I don't know what kind of I, I just don't know but I really like these dresses and they were like 40% off so I got them each for like 20 two dollars or something and they're actually both by the brand material girl and that's probably my favorite brand from the bay but anyways this first one is the black one that i showed in my new year's eve tutorial so i'll have that link down below if you want to see what this dress looks like on but it's basically just black and it has a high neckline and then it kind of goes in and then it has like a triangle you can't really see but there's like a triangle and that kind of hits just like above your belly button kind of I'm not really sure and then it kind of just goes out to a normal circle skirt bottom and they're really nicely made I really like the material of them they're really really comfy and then I got um, another dress by the same brand same material actually and this one is black as well but this one has little like dandelions all over it so it's kind of white and turquoise as well but this one has a heart and that kind of just rests on the top of your chest so I think that's really really cute and it's really flattering on and it has like the same bottom and so I thought that these were really, really cute, and for $20 a piece, I, you can't beat it. So that is everything that I purchased on Boxing Day. I hope you guys liked this video. Leave me a comment down below of something you purchased on Boxing Day, or I guess after Christmas sales, if you had purchased anything fun for yourself. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!